Flaming Block, and I'm here with a review of the 2010 set, 8096, Emperor Palpatine Shuttle, or if you are a big Star Wars fan, it is also known as the Theta Clash Shuttle. Now, this one, the set in particular, had 592 pieces, and in the U.S. of A, it was 59 and $59.99. In the UK, it was 61. Oh boy, I'm blanking here. 61 pounds and 99 pound cents. So, shall we start with the minifigures? Let me take this off to the side here. Put this in the limelight here. Let me tighten my grip. And here we are with the minifigures of this set. We'll start from left to right like you would read a page. So here we have a very rare medical droid, which is exclusive to this set because not only is it exclusive, it is also the second they came, there's only two different kinds of medical Lego medical droids out there. There is the darkish kind of light bluish grayish one which came with the Hoth set and this one was the other one with the dark gunmetal gray and the lighter bluish gray parts. This one has an exoforce arm for surgery there and it's got a nice mask much like the one in the Clone Wars and in the movies. Got a sort of a breathing thing, but even though robots don't need to breathe, maybe for comfort perhaps. And that's that there. Next we have a clone pilot that comes with this set. And it is a uh, just a clone pilot from the third episode, or the... I keep blinking on names here. But this one is a clone pilot from episode three. It's got the light bluish gray. This is the same color as the other medical droid that I was talking about. It's got a nice helmet there and a breathing apparatus. And on the back, it's got a parachute type of thing. That's what they say on the description. He's got a parachute. And if you take off the helmet there, the helmet by itself looks very nice. You'll also see another one in the of these in the review of the viewing that I have. And also the head is a... it almost looks like a ghost, I have to say. So... Once I get that, let's move on to Anakin Skywalker, or also known as Darth Vader. So, he's got some burnt skin here, and some tattered Jedi robes. His left arm was burnt, so there's no robes on that side left. Scarred pretty badly from the battle with Obi-Wan. One bad thing that I've noticed here in the movie, and also with the hair pieces that you get with the other Anakins, they are not orange. On this figure, the eyebrows are orange. I don't understand why. Maybe it's because they're burnt off and they're not supposed to be eyebrows, but why would you add eyebrows? He's got a clenched face and very tightly clenched teeth there, because he's bearing all that pain. And it also includes this helmet, or Darth Vader's helmet. You'll see why that comes into play later on in the review in the shuttle. And here is the lightsaber that he comes with. And last for the four minifigures is Emperor Palpatine. He's got nice deep set eyes with yellow eyes, of course. A pretty finely detailed um, torso piece for the robes. No printing on the back, of course, because there's a cape. Anakin does not have a cape because it was probably burnt off. And Hood is a normal Lego hood. And here is the face. 
So, he also comes with a lightsaber as well. Like so. And that's it for the minifigures. So, move that off to the side. Move this in. And boy, that thing is huge. So, this one here, as you will see in a moment, has its wings. Of course, with all shuttles, they can move up and down for flight mode. And there's the cockpit there. Some gun turrets here and here. Let me show you the... Oops, dear. Let me show you the cockpit. Technic pins here to lock into here. This opens up, and I added a turntable in here to make it seem more like a Star Wars pilot. I think it personally looks better. You can use pieces from your own collection if you would like to. And keep throwing off pieces, don't I? Here, I'll be right back. There we are. So, also, what's nice here is there's only two stickers, of course, on the cockpit here to show some detail between the gradual greeting and one on either side and also a very nice printed piece which means they didn't have to use as many stickers and stickers are printed on paper and paper costs money because it cuts down trees so very nice printed piece there we put that back and then we can put the cockpit back on cockpit back on show it flying around take the cockpit back off and show you the inside. So, if you put down the wings like that, zoom out, you've got Emperor Palpatine's Theta Class Shuttle with some blue in the back. Oh, one thing to show you is these landing gear move back to show that they're in flight mode. So a very nice design here. Like most shuttles, like the Imperial Shuttle, of course, which I will be doing a review on for the next next June 2015, as soon as I get that one. And also it's got this gun in the back, which has many, many points of articulation for a gun. Moves sideways, and then it also moves this way, sideways. So you can get some interesting poses. So you can have it shooting straight down like that if there's an intruder trying to get on board or such like that. And very nice details here for the winglets. Let me put those up and I can show you this. You can see some Technic pins so it can go like this. And both sides can do that. So after that We'll put this down, take off the cockpit, this down like so, and this is a very nice part here. You can flip this up like so, it just latches on into that little Technic pinhole right there. Same on the other side with this one. You can see that it starts to do something like that. But if you want to make it all the way playability wise, you can take off this side and pull off the entire thing. That's what I like doing. It takes a little bit longer, but I personally think it's better in the long run. So, for those of you who have watched the third movie, you all know what this is. This is a medical bay. So Let's start by putting a droid here. We can take off Emperor Palpatine's and Darth Vader's lightsaber. Put Emperor Palpatine watching. Let's just say from here. And put Anakin there. So you can put the helmet there for this scene. Now 
to um, do something like this, perhaps. Maybe not all the way, but far enough. So that you can see down into it. I can do that. And you can see from here that you get down here, push this lever here or on the back. And that didn't work how it was supposed to. Let me reset this and retry knocking everyone over because I'm so high up actually let's go back down a little yeah. now you can see the detail in what's going on here you push this back so where it gets Darth Vader's helmet on, and then it pushes it up like that, so it is like it is in the end of the third movie, where he's screaming no. If only I could get that clip and not be copyrighted for it. So, also in this area, you see your two lightsabers here. You can turn this around and not direct, drop the lightsabers. Take this out here. Put one lightsaber there for storage. One lightsaber there for storage. Which is very nice because most sets won't allow you to do that. Now, see Emperor Palpatine here? You can sit him in one of these seats back here if I can get it in without ruining escape. So he can also be watching from back there. There are two seats, one on either side. And then, let me take all the minifigures out and all the accessories out. So I can put the top back on, show you how the pilot looks in the cockpit, and then begin the wrap-up. There. And I didn't put that on. and put that on, or I just took it off. There. So you can set the pilot in there like that. So the reason I put the swiveling function is so he can look around. Maybe there's panels on the sides. Close that down. That's what he looks like. In there. Good range of view for the pilot. And let's put this back on. Oh, and one other nice thing about the cockpit is that you can't open it while it is connected. So, let us go over what we've just done here. We have looked at the minifigures, of course, which are some pretty cool minifigures, if I do say so myself. Darth Vader and Emperor Palpatine in the same set. There's not many that you get to do that, unless you count the new one that's coming out in this year, 2015, in June. And also, since Emperor Palpatine is a rare minifigure, that's nice, also is this medical droid and a burnt Anakin. Here is a pilot, and... This should be the end of my video. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for many, many, many reviews. I do nano block, as I've said in my original video. Creo, like, luckily I have this on hand, like the Enterprise. Lego, as you can see here from this very nice set, I'd give this a 10 out of 10, personally. And it's not just because I like Star Wars, it's just all the action and play features. The only thing I don't like is that right here, there you can see the bottom of the studs. But that's 
about it. The minifigures are great, and this is also 2010. So they don't have all the building techniques they do have now in 2015. So, please subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.